All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to, I think, one of the first uh, League of Legends matches that I'm actually streaming. Pog taking on Marist College tonight in a Week 3 ECAC mashup. On your screen, you can see the draft there. Um, pretty uh, bamboozly draft from both teams. Picking flex picks is early. That reminds me, I gotta look up what the uh, Marist College mascot is. Somebody Google it. Too lazy. Somebody Google what the Marist College mascot is for me, please. But uh, it's going to be. Lethal Master 44 on Mordekaiser in the top lane. Uh, Face Misk on Udir in the jungle. Mickey Rack on Pantheon in the mid lane. Olympus Rises on Caitlyn on ADC. And generally okay on Lux on support for uh, Maris. They're going to be uh, blue side. Uh, do I have the spectator bug? I might have to... Uh, Exit and relaunch. Have to relaunch spectating. We're stuck. Riot, you know, small indie company. Got to give them a break sometimes. Spectate. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Uh, Eagles finally have our full uh, starting roster tonight. We've been kind of struggling the last couple weeks with uh, needing to use subs. Here we go. What is that? Oh, is that the chat? That's the chat box. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Uh, hold, give me one second while I just figure this out here. Not want chat on. Objective timers. Minimap scoreboard. Good. And then I need to reduce the minimap scale. Let's actually see the objective. I don't care about red and blue buff. There we go. That's good. All right. Standard five points to start off here. Um, haven't gone through, the, finished going through the rosters yet, though. It's going to be S'mores on Maokai in the top lane. Wang Hung Yu on Hecarim in the jungle. Ryanite on Karma in mid lane. Chrome Suit on Jin on ADC. And uh, Robot Devil on Senna on support for the Eagles on the red side this game. <clears throat> the Red Foxes, thank you. Thank you both. Um, Nice. So it's going to be the uh, Foxes, or the Red Foxes versus the Eagles. Um, both junglers. No, sorry. Jungler's going to be crossing uh, in their clears here. So Wang starting on his blue. Uh, both junglers starting on their blue, I should say. So Face Misk is going to be jungling down towards the bottom lane. And Wang is going to be jungling towards the top lane. The Lux Caitlyn lane down in the bottom lane always... Uh, Always a pretty uh, tough lane to get through, but I'm confident in Chrome. I'm confident in Robot that they can make something happen. Chrome taking a lot of poke, or excuse me, Robot taking a lot of poke early, though. Looks like they do have the uh, push advantage as Chrome does land the fourth shot. Good poke by Ryan I as well in the mid lane. S'mores at a level disadvantage, so Lidl is going to have control of that lane for a little bit. There's level twos all around. Could be an invade brewing, though. This Wang checking the uh, chickens. Uh-oh. Robot getting rooted up very low. One more auto is going to do it, and generally OK gets first blood for Marist. Nice job in the bottom lane. You cannot get hit by anything. 
in that lane, you just take so much damage. You see it right there. From the Maris bottom lane duo. But not the end of the world. Romsu did not die, so he's still able to farm here. Looking at the farm, dead even in the jungle, slight lead in the mid lane for Mickey on this Pantheon, which is concerning as uh, Karma should definitely have the advantage early on in that lane. Another binding goes wide. Uh, Udir is in the area. Chrome dropping that ward. Is he going to... Or Robot dropping that ward. Is he going to get punished for it, though? Ooh. Got to wait a little bit on that. Generally okay. Getting quite low. And forced to uh, back off. Wing just making his presence known in the top lane. Great uh, vision here by the Eagles on the top side of the map here. What? Huh? Oh, Mickey could be looking to go in on Ryanite there. Let's get rooted up. Is able to back off with that shield, but honestly, not a great trade from considering how strong Pantheon is in the early game. Gets hit by another empowered Q by Ryanite, and that may force the base. Ryanite now in control of this mid lane. Good poke by uh, Robot there on the Senna. Love to see it. This could be dangerous, though. They do see him coming. Uh, S'mores does not care, though, apparently, <laughs> or did not see. And he is definitely going to die here. Just a matter of who gets the kill. Oh, he's going to flash out, make it interesting. Lidl is forced to flash after, so flash trade. But Lidl does pick up that one. 2-0 Maris as they're up to off to about a 1,200 gold lead here. Small farm lead for Chrome Sue in the bottom lane, which is also interesting because Caitlyn should Caitlyn Lux should generally generally have the advantage in the early game. So things not quite really going as expected so far in this early game. As uh, Wang is sticking around the bot side here, let's see if he goes for anything. Um, Maris does have generally decent ward coverage though. And Wang is going to take one out. They do know he's in the area now. Mickey Rack is level 6. Eagles need to watch out for those roams now as he's going to jump on top of Ryanite. Wang coming in the mid lane. It is going to back off. No, he's going to go for face, Misk. And it's a fight in mid lane. Ryanite heading over. Cannot get the shield down on Wang in time. And Mickey Rack's going to take that kill. 3 nothing so far from Maris. Face Mix flashing in for that one. Ryanite could turn this one around if he's got the abilities. There's the root. Good uh, use of that damage blocking ability by Pantheon to uh, likely save his life there. But three unanswered kills by Maris. What the fuck was that? As uh, Ryan is... I think he probably could have turned that one around, honestly, if he just had more confidence in himself, in himself there. Uh, it seemed like he just got scared for no reason um, after the Udyr flashed in with no health. Back to even in the top lane, uh, CS-wise. Of course, Lidl does have that one kill on Mordekaiser. But so far, the gold spread out. Generally okay has a kill on the support. Mickey has a kill on Pantheon in the mid lane. And uh, Lidl has one kill on Mordekaiser in top lane. So Definitely not the end of the world as far as one player getting giga fed. But Eagles do need to, will need to... Um, good... Uh, Good counter poke there after uh, Robot got hit by the Binding. Leo Master going to go in on S'mores now. He's got Face Mist coming in as support once again. S'mores is in the ultimate. He's got nowhere to go. 
And Lidl's going to pick up the kill there. Meanwhile, I'll find the bot lane, though. Olympus forced a flash away from the W from Chrome Sue. And despite the level 6 advantage, um, Maris does lose that fight. In the bot lane, Olympus quite low now. Chrome Sue just hit 6 as well. The uh, curtain call is available. Oh, huge damage! Going for the W. Can't find it. Exhaust goes out. There's the curtain call. Cannot find the kill with it, though. But here comes Wang. He's galloping down, but he finds Mickey in the river. Here comes Ryanite. There's the ultimate. Robot coming in for support as well. Can Mickey get out? He's going to flash over the wall, and he is going to survive. Eagles still cannot get their first kill. But they are going to start this dragon. Oh no! Oh, that was <laughs> that was scary. Wang is gonna die for his troubles, but the Eagles do secure their first dragon. Oh, generally okay now. Forced to flash away. This robot taking a good amount of poke. <clears throat> Robot throwing that ult out, but here comes the ultimate from Mickey, and that's an easy kill from the Pantheon. Have to be aware of the Pantheon's roaming abilities. Romusu is going to get rooted, cleanses out of it. Ryanite coming in support, going to shield himself for some reason and uh, leave his teammate to die. Don't like that decision. Um,. <clears throat> Seven nothing Maris now, and they're just piling it on. S'mores coming in. It's gonna be a two v two though. It's Wang now coming in to support, but uh, they just have too much damage. Wang pops the ghost, but he's got nowhere to go. In the uh, realm of death, three zero on Lidl now. As Eagles still looking for their first kill, falling very very far behind in this early game. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Uh, Face Misk also now coming in for a mid gank, but Ryanite is going to sniff that one out and escape unscathed. Oh, nice root there by S'mores. Lidl is going to take a tower shot, but not a lot of damage yet on this tree. So tough if you're uh, Wang right now. It's like, where do you go? Every lane is losing. Bot, bot lane is, you know, kind of even. So maybe you could go bot lane, but Caitlyn looks so hard to gank. And uh, also both junglers now hanging around the bot side. And here comes Face. Gonna stun up Chrome Sue, but uh, Wang is also in the area, and they will get their first kill as. Uh, Olympus Rises does fall, but now it's a 2v2. Wang very low. Face Mix just doing too much damage. He's going to get rooted up by Robot, but it doesn't matter. He's just going to run him down. Nope. Good flash out by Robot, but Face is going to flash right after. But he's not going to continue. And uh, it's a one for one. The Eagles do get on the board, but still down 4,000 gold. It's a massive deficit. And they need to play extremely carefully through this mid game. Oh, Mickey puts the uh, shield in the wrong direction. And a pretty good trade there for Ryanite. Nice damage from this Karma. But he's got to watch out for Mickey. He's got three kills and Eclipse completed on this Pantheon. Why does my sound so low? I just can't even hear anything. There we go. Is that better? That's better. Another good poke landing from Ryanite in mid lane. But, uh, yeah, not much going in the going the way of the Eagles. They did get that dragon. 
their uh, their one consolation prize in this abysmal early game. Chromesu also with a uh, small farm lead as well. As Ryan going to maybe get another plate for himself. Mickey ulting in. Can Ryan survive? Gonna root him up. One more spear is gonna land, but Ryanite does survive. Just barely. Does have the TP, so he'll be able to get back in the lane. Potentially stop that tower from falling. Chromesu getting aggressive here. Generally okay, getting very low. W misses. And Olympus Rises doing a lot of damage. But here comes the curtain call. Can he find anything? Nope, no, not quite. So far these curtain calls have not been landing. From Chrome. Here comes Wang. It's in the area. Could be feeling spicy. Everyone grouping now for drags. S'mores does not have TP yet, so this is going to be a 5v4. And a uh, good call from the Eagles. They are going to give it. I love this call. Just let S'mores push in the top lane. Let him get back in the game a little bit. Already took the first dragon, so no big deal giving up just one. I love that call. It's exactly what I told the team in the pregame, too. If you fall behind, you got to trade objectives. Don't fight for everything. A team, a team that is ahead of you wants you to fight. Right? Don't give them what they want. A 4,000, 5,000 gold lead at 15 minutes is much worse than a 4,000 gold lead at 25 or 35 minutes. So you can just maintain that deficit for the rest of the game. It's going to be a net positive. Nice poke again, landing by Rhino. And Mickey is not going to really going to be able to do anything for a while. Let's see, Baxi is going to base now. Uh oh, robot getting rooted up. Really escaping, but here's Wang coming in the top lane for a gank. Putting Wang into the uh, ultimate. Flashing after. Yeah, there's not much you can do. Really should not be ganking the top lane. At all. And now here's uh, Face Mist coming in as the bottom lane barely escaping with their lives as well. Yeah, just... You don't want to gank a... You don't want to gank a... Uh, A fed Mordekaiser because he can just turn a 2v1 into a 1v1, kill one, and then kill the next person. So, not a good decision there by Roy to go for that top lane gank. In my opinion, Roy should be focusing uh, mid lane after Ryan lands some poke or bot lane anytime they're pushed, which they have been recently. Udyr hovering around the mid again. Face Mist looking for another gank. Mickey trying to bait Ryan to stepping up, but Robot is here in support as well on the Senna. As Lidl going to take down Marist's second tower of the game. And uh, Mickey forced to bat back again. Has still kept up his farm despite being forced back to base many times and not running TP. So credit to him as the Eagle's pushing down the mid lane. Everything missing face misc <laughs> as he just runs right past it. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a massive uphill they need to go. I'm weighing, invading for some reason. Going to find face misc. And face misc more than happy to take that fight, doing tons of damage. Ryan Knight going to root him up. But, uh, and here comes the Pantheon. Ryan Knight in trouble. I think he's just, he does have Flash. Going to be able to Glass Cone away. Gets the healing from the Senna. Mickey getting low. Getting feared up by Wang. Gets the shutdown onto uh, Chrome Suit. That's huge, but Face Mick will finalize that kill on uh, Wang. 
and it's a two for one. As Chrome's here now just getting run down by Face Mist, but Chrome doing a lot of damage. He's gonna get the shutdown. Face Mist bit off more than he could chew there. Robot definitely bit off more than he could chew as well, sticking around in the mid lane all by himself. Definitely do not want that, um, especially as a support. But a uh, great job by Chrome Suit picking up that kill. Three kills for himself now. All three kills uh, for the Eagles. So he is going to be quite fed. Um, I don't know about the plated steel caps pickup, but, you know, there is a fed pantheon. So I suppose that makes sense. S'mores also managed to get the top tower while we were watching everything else. So Eagles do get their first tower on the board as well as... Uh, S'mores now with the Jack Show complete and a Bramble Vest. He's going to be getting much more tanky as Dragon is spawning now in uh, just about 30 seconds. So that's probably going to be the next fight here. Wow, huge poke from Ryan. Face Misk and uh, Mickey invading into this blue side. I actually love that. Oh, Wang's looking for it. He wants something. Nope, decides against it. I love the invasion by Mickey and uh, Face Mist into that blue side of the Eagles, clearing out that vision to prep for the drag, which has spawned, and the Eagles are going to give it away, and they're going to get... Um, well, actually, they can't get Rift in the top side, fortunately. Oh, but here they go into mid, but they just got Dragon and Wang in trouble. He's going to try to run around Lidl, and ult away is going to get away as uh, Face Mix solos the dragon in the meanwhile. But this is exactly what I like to see when the Eagles are behind. Uh-oh. Ryan in a lot of trouble. One more shot is going to take him down. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You cannot get hit by anything. Uh-oh. And Robot's dead as well. <laughs> see, he stepped on a trap. <laughs> But you, you can't get hit by anything against this Caitlyn Lux. So uh, suffocating. You hit by Binding, or you step on a trap, and uh, you're just dead. Unless you have Cleanse. Yeah, things looking very, very bad for the Eagles right now. Six deaths on Wing. Um, just so hard to play that Hecarim when you're behind. Because uh, all of your abilities are, you know, go in. And uh, if you go in... And, you know, he, he built uh, Spear of Shoujin. So he's not exactly that tanky. He only got a couple couple hundred health on his items. That's Mickey uh, ulting away to get out of trouble. Uh, Lidl pushing this top lane. No one there to answer. S'more's finally walking up. But they're going to take this mid tower as well. Uh-oh. Robot maybe in trouble? Nope, it's going to get away. Fight over the chickens. Uh-oh, Wayne taking a lot of damage. Ryan taking a lot of damage, and they're just dead. Ryan is anyways. Not exactly sure why we're fighting over the chickens. <laughs> and uh, Maris pinging Baron now. Oh, Wayne going to take some damage from the Caitlyn. R not going to kill him, though. And this should be a free Baron for Maris. Gonna make it really, really, really difficult for the Eagles to get back now. Oh, here's Wang chasing down Mickey, but I don't know if he actually wants this fight. Uh, he can't. He cannot beat Mickey yet. Uh, robot's too slow in support. And now Mira's just going to push in this top lane. Not really sure what, <laughs> what Wank's doing over there. Four shot lands is on Olympus, but uh, is out of mana. If the Eagles want to go for something... They could have gone now, but Wang is dead. 
And really, they should just focus on clearing the minions. It's about to be a 23-minute inhibitor push. But it looks like Maris is finally going to head back to base here. As the next dragon is up in a little over a minute and a half. Eagles will definitely need to probably give that one up. I think if you're the Eagles, the game plan is you give up this next dragon, because it's only their third. You try to stall out as long as you can. Baron buff's about to wear off as well. It's difficult to play Senna when behind, for that matter, as well. Because she's just so squishy and takes so long to uh, get to that point where she's able to carry 1v9, so... Yeah, it's just hard. It's going to be really difficult for post now. Morris pushing in the top lane here. Has teleport available if the Eagles do decide to fight, but I really think they shouldn't. Drag is up in five, and Wang is basing, so it looks like they are, in fact, going to give this up, which is the right call for sure. Maris going to easily take this one. And it'll be their third dragon of the game. So far, they're honestly really impressed with uh, everyone's CS. So far, everyone more or less staying even or even surpassing their counterparts in CS this game, which is difficult to do. Oh, <laughs> generally okay, just flashing immediately. But so is Robot. Both supports getting caught out here and having to flash away. Wayne going to pop Ghost and gallop right on out of there. Eagles walking over to try to collapse onto Mickey Rack, but he sniffs it out and runs away. Someone needs to answer Lidl in the top lane soon as well. Grumsu working on his third item now has Gale Force and Rapid Fire Cannon complete. Let's see what he if he actually has enough for his third item. Probably not. He's got a component. He's got Last Whisper, so he'll be doing some decent damage, but he'll need a lot of time to actually do that damage in these fights. Eagle's doing a pretty good job of wave clearing here. They do have decent wave clear. But uh, Ryan in trouble, going to get blasted down to about 50% off of that looks binding and may have to base off of that. Maris playing very spread out here, trying to push in all three lanes at once. This could be the uh, opening for the Eagles. Big Mantra Q lands and Wang diving in on the back line. Lidl getting very low. Generally okay. Also not very okay right now. Wang is getting hit down. There's one shutdown though. Chrome Suit doing so much work for the Eagles right now on this Jin. But Lidl still doing a lot of damage. Very low. Almost dying. W gets blocked, and it's a two-for-one in the end. Honestly, a great fight for the Eagles, considering they're down over 10,000 gold. Um, phenomenal fight. Chromesu picking up another kill for himself on this gin. 
Oh, I'm just missing stopping that base. That would have been another free kill. But uh, Baron is spawning now. That does give the Eagles a little bit of breathing room. But not much. Chrome playing phenomenally on this gin. As Eagles are going to take out that turret and get the uh, additional gold from being behind. But Maris is pinging Baron. They're heading over there now. And uh, Wang is showing in the bottom lane, so this is going to be another free Baron for Marist. Completely uncontested. And now the Eagles just have to continue turtling. Fourth dragon for Maris now spawning in just about 45 seconds, so. Face Mask definitely going to be looking to uh, pick that one up. Or they might just look to push in and end right here. They don't really need Soul Point with a 13,000 gold lead. Robots get caught by a binding, and he's going to go down immediately. That's a solo kill from Generally OK. 3 0 11 on the Lux. Somehow survived that last fight as well. I actually thought they died. But I have Eagles with their last stand here. S'mores getting rooted up. Getting pulled in. Getting rooted again. Flashing out but still goes down. Olympus going to pick up that one. And it feels inevitable at this point. All Maris needs to do is push up and end the game. Oh, they're not actually going to end the game. Interesting choice. Morris is still down for 30 seconds. They probably could have. But they're going to play it safe. They're going to go get their uh, soul point. There's the soul. It's going to be Cloud Soul. Chrome Suit does have his third item complete. The one possible silver lining here for the Eagles. They're able to keep him alive in these fights. But, uh, it would have to be a massive throw from Marist at this point. And Robot getting hit by another Binding. And he's going to die to Face Misk this time. <clears throat> Big ult coming out. This could be the last fight. Chromesu... Flashing and cleansing away, but can't really do any damage. Opens up the curtain call. Onto face miss. Can they kill him? No, they can't. Too much shields. And that's going to be the game. GG. Maris takes game one in convincing fashion. There was really never any doubt all throughout that one. See if the Eagles can bounce back here in game two. We will be right back.
All right. Welcome back to the match. Maris did take uh, game one quite convincingly. Let's see if the Eagles are able to bounce back here in game two. Uh, so game two, it's going to be S'mores on Aatrox in the top lane, Wang on Xin Zhao in the jungle, Ryanite on Annie in the mid lane, Chromesu on Kaisa on ADC, and Robot Devil on Rakan for support. Meanwhile, for Maris, it's going to be Lidl Master on Fiora, Face Misk on Zack, Mickey Rack on Pantheon, Olympus on Caitlyn, and generally okay on Brand this time on support. Uh, Eagles picking a heavy early game focused uh, team composition here. I think that um, our goal this game is to get ahead early. So far, we have not had a single game. We had not had a single early game go our way this entire season, so um, that's going to be their, our main focus this time. So, Sun Zhao, good early game jungler. Um, and three lanes with CC for him to gank, so. Tough matchup in the top lane there, though. For, uh, that's for S'mores on the Aatrox. See if he's able to actually deal with Lidl's Fiora. Roy jungling down to the bot side. And uh, face mist jungling up. There's the level two for the Eagles bot lane. But uh, nobody looking to fight quite yet. Seems playing a little bit more conservative so far. It's more dashing in aggressively, a level behind. Jungers will be finishing their clears uh, momentarily. Sin Zhao coming in for a gank. Double knock up there from Robot. Yu lands by Wang. There's the exhaust and the flash out. Gets the knock up. Flash one more is going to do it. And Robot going to take the kill with the ignite. Forcing the flash away from generally okay as well. Chrome does not have a W to go for that kill. But a great gank from Roy on this bottom lane. Not exactly what I wanted to see there. Bot lane was not expecting that gank. And that's what we like to call the coach diff. <laughs> Ooh, W lands. The Chrome gets stunned up. Ryan, good. Flash away. Gonna get pulled in, gonna get stunned. Oh, almost stunned Mickey in tower range. That would have been a kill. Tragic. Good job by Ryan, though, avoiding that uh, gank. Is down uh, 15 to 30 CS, though. So definitely not what you want to see in the range versus melee matchup. Not sure exactly why his CS is so low. Um, because he was pushing the wave. He seemed to have control of it. Um, and Annie also generally pretty easy to last hit with, so... We'll definitely have to go back to into the training mode there and work on last hits. S'mores having a bit of trouble with Leal this game on this Fiora. Okay, Ryan has caught up a bit now. Yeah, this is going to be a rough early game for S'mores. 
Although, uh, Wang is in the area now. He could potentially look for a top lane gank. But Lidl is almost level 6. There it is. <laughs> the last minion. And this gank is not going to happen now. Or at least it shouldn't happen. Okay, Ryan only... Okay, he, was, he wasn't as far down in CS as I thought he was, actually. So, my apologies. Wang looking mid now for a gank. Ryan does not have his stun available, though. It does bait Mickey in. Pops the tippers, but does not have a stun available. Also low on mana. And here comes Face Misk for the counter gank. As it looks like uh, Marist is grouping for Dragon, but the Eagles are out to an early lead. Uh, 700 gold lead now. About six minutes in, so. So far, the plan is working. Good vision on the spot side here for, uh, for Marist as well. Dodging away by robot. I am going to probably TP back to the mid lane. Wang pinging the bot lane, but he is going to get spotted out by that ward in river. Doesn't see it though, so that's key. But uh, face misc, meanwhile, in the top lane. Let's get pulled back, and Lido gonna smack him a couple times, but nothing else doing. S'mores, good job sniffing that gank out. Hmm. Maris bot lady rotating up. Lido has a. Not necessarily a freeze, but it's definitely making life difficult for S'mores. Wang's still hovering around the spot side where he has vision. Finally, they see the uh, pink ward in the river there. Mickey jumping onto Ryanite. But nothing big committed just yet. Eagles starting up the dragon here. Face Miss going to jump in. Exhaust goes out on a Chrome Sue. This is not looking good for the Eagles. Mickey Rack already getting one kill. Robot getting low as well. Wang trying to do what he can, but he's not going to find that kill. Great collapse by Maris. Fail flash from Wang is not going to find the kill on Olympus. Mickey Rack flashing away, and uh, Olympus getting away as well. No! Ryan is going to take him down. Tibbers! Tibbers! Timbers! He did it! Let's go, Timbers! It's a double kill for Ryanite, courtesy of the Timbers. But Maris overall winning that exchange, going to take the dragon for themselves. And uh, I believe four kills. And now have about a 1.7 thousand gold lead. So the Eagles were ahead a bit <laughs> for a little bit in the early game there. But uh, Maris has instantly gotten that back. Needle nursing a slow push here. But uh, honestly, that could have gone a lot worse for post. So uh, Ryan, I just pick up two kills for himself on the Annie. He's got his uh, blasting one and lost chapter complete now. S'mores still struggling in the top lane. Has not given up a kill, though. Seems to be S'mores' MO up here. He will... Oh. Oh, wow. Little an early flash away. Interesting. Had used the uh, repost there on another one of Chrome's abil or, uh, S'mores' abilities. Good CSing in the top lane. Love to see it.
Good stun there by Ryanite. Popping the Tibbers as well. Gets stunned up, though. There's the Ignite as well. Mickey Rack really wants this. Oh, Ryan barely missing with that W. Very close. Oh, almost missing. Almost getting him with the Spear as well. What happened? I thought Ryan disconnected for a second. Oh, he's probably just controlling Tibbers. But Mickey is forced to back. Very close mid lane fight, but no one goes down. <clears throat> oh, Robot, that was your chance. Oh, she was right there. Missed opportunity there. Uh oh, Ryan in trouble. Oh, goes too far. Basement's got nothing else to attack to uh, connect the queue. And Ryan I escapes another gank. Mickey's still hanging around. So is Roy. Or Wang, I should say. Yo, I need you to do something for me. He's going to go in on that. It's a 2v2 in the mid lane. Oh, that lands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't. No, Wang. He got baited. He got baited. Forgot about Pantheon Shield. Unfortunate. And Ryan's sticking around for no reason and is going to die as well. And uh, this bottom lane just uh, just not going in. When you're against a heavy poke lane like Brand, uh, Caitlyn, you need to you need to go in. When you have the slightest opening, you can't just let them sit back and do this. Pantheon once again getting fed for uh, Maris. It's going to be an issue for the Eagles. But so far, an overall better early game. Oh, Lidl getting knocked back again. Robot getting stunned up. He's going to go in, lands the charm on Olympus, but he's just going to fall. But Olympus very low, gets knocked up. Chrome is going to take that kill, and it's a one for one. It's Rhino also roaming down, but he's walking over all kinds of vision. And Dragon not up for a minute. As uh, S'mores got away from a uh, Rome up top as well. Oh, Chromesu going in with the ultimate. Does not want to dive the brand, though. Smisk and uh, Mickey starting on this Rift Herald. Looks like they are going to take it out. And Eagles cannot trade Dragon on the other side of the map because it's not up for 30 seconds. So, some good life for the Eagles this game. As uh, Ryan now with his uh, Luden's Echo complete. It's going to be doing a good amount of damage. And it's been lane generally okay. Still sticking around. It's bottom lane. Had about 40% health. And the Eagles are back now. They could look to engage once they thin this wave out. Oh, and Mickey roaming down. This is dangerous. Roy is also heading to the area, though. This could be a 3v3, but so is Face Misk. It's about to be a 4v3. Uh oh. Robot gets stunned up. Instantly killed. Chrome gets landed on by Face Misk. But that's all that Maris is going to find so far. Ryanite waiting in the wings. Maybe could make something happen here. Stuns up Face Misk with the Tibbers. Uh, interesting choice there. 
pop the tippers early. Eagles might go for a steal attempt here. Nope, they're just going to give it. That could have gotten stolen. Smite was missed. Dragon had 80 health for a second. Here comes Wang. Oh, and Mickey flashing away from that gank. Good job by Roy. Blowing the flash. Prey Seeker's going to land. But uh, Lidl busting down this top lane tower. Generally okay, still has not base. He's sitting on almost 2,000 gold. They're sitting on almost 2,000 gold. Oh, Robot going in on Olympus. That's a good W. But generally okay, doing so much damage. Does eventually fall to the burn. Wow. Sauce came out as well. Prevented Chrome from getting any good damage down. Two v two brewing in the top lane here as uh, face misc is mid. <clears throat> and there's the first turret of the game going to Marist. Oh, what is Olympus doing? What is Olympus doing? He's out of position all alone. And Chromesu can going to take out that free kill. I mean, we take those. Maybe he's distracted by something else that was going on around the map. But Rift Herald is spawned mid. Ooh, generally okay and face miss coming down. They want this 2v2. Uh-oh. Yep. And, uh... Grimsu had no idea that they were there. I should have just killed the motherfucker. Oh my god, oh my god. 5,000 gold lead now for Marist. This thing's looking pretty similar to game one. Eagles definitely have a better chance of winning this one, I think. Uh, overall. First game was just not even remotely close in any sense of the word, but... A few glimmers of hope here for the Eagles as uh, Ryan A and Chrome Sue both have two kills, so the gold is going where it needs to go. Samora's is doing a good job holding his own in the top lane, not feeding Lidl Master. He's down about 40 CS, so that is going to be a problem if left unchecked. Ooh, knock up lands for a robot onto Mickey. He is alone, but uh, ooh, Tibbers comes down. Full combo from Ryan A. Onto Olympus, and he's going to take about 70% of his health bar for the audacity of stepping up to Ryan's turret. So, uh, yeah, good job by Ryan just kind of reminding him that he's still a champion that exists. Olympus, very low, and Robot going to steal that one with the W. And uh, Chrome flashed in for that one. And Wayne going aggressive here on Face Misc in his jungle. He's got support coming. I like this call. But the support does not come fast enough. And uh, Marist pinging this bot lane tower. They want Mickey to split push, I think, here. It's probably the right call. Dragon up in 40 seconds, though. So, And S'mores does not have teleport, and Lidl does. So this is going to be key for this fight. Does Lidl actually teleport in? I think I feel like the rest of the Eagles team may have forgotten that Fior is even on the map right now. Both, both these top laners have just been solo farming. For the last 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, and Ryanite flashing in. And 
Not doing much. Oh, stun is going to land. Oh Wang gets a knock up. There it is. Beautiful shutdown. I didn't see Wang coming in there. Good job by Wang and Ryan out there syncing up for a big shutdown kill. It's going to be 600 gold in Wang's pocket. Dragon has spawned, though. And the Eagles may look to want to fight this with Mickey dead for the next 20 seconds. But this is still going to be, uh, could potentially be a 4v4. Not to mention they have to account for Mickey's ultimate. Wang going to go in. On Jeremy OK, beautiful focus. And Jeremy OK goes down. Now here's Olympus. He's going to fall to Chromesu as well. And the Eagles have full control of this dragon area now. As Lidl did not end up TPing into that fight. And Post will pick up their first dragon of the game. Earth Dragon. That's going to be really important. Amazing fight there for the Eagles, but they're still down 5,000 gold somehow. Even after those kills. That is exactly what they needed here. Uh-oh. Ryan in trouble. Gets doved on by Mickey. He's going to stun and try to walk out of this one. He's very low. One last spear is not going to do the job. And Ryan survives. So, I mean, it looks it would look close to the players right now, but in all honesty, Maris is still has a massive advantage. Um, 5,000 gold lead here. A uh, very fed Zach, who will probably be an issue for this post team. So they don't really have a truly good uh, tank buster. Mmm. Mickey pinging the mid lane. He wants to go here. He's going to jump in on Robot. But uh, not much else doing there. As Wang now coming in. Face wants to go, though. He knows he's not spotted. Oh, wow. Wang flashing in. He's just running in. He doesn't care about anything else. But now Face Mask on the other side. Wang going in. Gets stunned up. Gets killed. Tibbers goes down. Robot's going to fall as well. Face Mist Globa, he's got the passive. He's going to be fine as he splits into four. Meanwhile, top lane fight going on as well. Definitely going Lidl's favor. And uh, the Eagles lose two. Not quite sure why Roy flashed in there. I think we had seen the rest of the team earlier, but uh, Myris going to start up the Baron now. With Wang dead, this should be an easy take. Unless there's a miracle W from Chrome Su, uh, this is definitely going the way of Marist, and it will be their first Baron of the game. And now an 8,000 gold lead for the Foxes. All right. Two minutes until the next dragon spawns. It's probably going to be our next fight. Um, both these top laners still zero zero zero. I swear, if they end the game, that's going to be the biggest meme ever. That's actually really funny. 25 minutes into this game, and neither top laner has had any interactions with any other champions in the entire game. Both still zero zero zero. That's really funny, actually. Uh, Lidl has extended their lead to 60 creeps now, though. As uh, Lidl will take out that inner tower. Extend the gold lead even further. All the outer towers are kind of forfeit at this point with the Baron buff. Ryan TPing mid for some reason. Oh, a robot caught out. Uh, flashes for some reason. Uh, it could have E'd. 
That was a strange choice. Generally, as Rakan, you want to save your flash for engaging with your ultimate or W. And uh, use your E whenever possible to get out of danger. Dragon spawning, not for another 30 seconds, so. Maris just trying to do a death push here and uh, catch someone coming in to set up some wards. But they're not biting the bait. Wayne coming in on Lidl here. We could get our first top lane action. Lidl just going to go right over the wall, though. As he's got a four-level lead over Wang. They do not want that fight. Wait, why did... Why did Brian flash there? Ugh. So... This is going to be Dragon going to Maris. But meanwhile, they are... Uh, Eagles are looking to collapse on Mickey in the bot lane here, but he's got that shield. Does get taken out. And he's just going to ult away. And have no issues there. Uh-oh. Wang coming in on Olympus. Gets the knock up. Blocking a ton of damage with his ult, but he's got no way to get back in now. And forced to kind of walk it out. <laughs> Does somehow get away from that exchange. Generally okay. Still... No, he's actually going to probably die here. Yep, there's face. One more W, and generally okay, going to take that kill. It's more just dodging everything. Does get stunned up there, though. Pops over the wall right into face misc's arms. Oh, nice E by Robot there. And he gets out alive. Good job by the Eagles to uh, come to the defense of their teammate. And get him out. Almost three items complete for Chrome Sue. So much gold he's sitting on. He's sitting on 1200, so he's definitely looking to complete that next item very shortly. But Mickey still hanging around in the bot lane, completely alone. Uh, Maris sticking with this 131 strat. It has been working for him so far. They no longer have the Baron buff, though. Uh, Lidl just pounding away at this top tower, and uh, they're going to get the top tower for free. Not sure where Chrome, where uh, S'mores was there, but they have to react now. Lito getting stunned, getting knocked up. Huge shutdown going over to uh, Chromesu there. Interesting why that was a shutdown. Hmm. But Lito is going. Lito and S'mores are both going to have their first champion interactions in the game. Uh, 28 minutes in. Congratulations to them. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Wang flashing in. There's the ultimate going down. W goes in as well. Wayne getting very low. He's going to get taken down. Good knock up there by Robot, but he's super low. And there's a double kill, and there's just no one left to help. Ryan coming in just he's way too late, and S'mores is nowhere to be found. And it's a quadra kill for Olympus Rises. Had a pretty, uh, pretty rocky early into the mid game there, but has turned things around spectacularly on this Caitlyn now. And that'll be... At least one inhibitor for Maris, possibly more. TP coming out from Lidl into the bot lane, so they're definitely going to look for two inhibitors here. Oh, generally okay. Steps too far and is definitely not okay. He's going to fall to the tower. S'mores does fall as well. But uh, he's going to get shut down by Wang, and it looks like they might actually be able to save one of their inhibitors here. Which would be pretty huge. Especially with Baron still on the map. Ooh, Wayne just barely missing that. Yeah, honestly, still really far behind, but you know, I think it's I think it's actually surprisingly winnable. And I've seen a lot of good things this game. 
from the Eagles. This next dragon is going to be extremely important. <clears throat> Spawning in less than a minute. And the eagles need to try to get out there and get vision control. Or maybe they could just trade Baron. Not very good vision for the Eagles, as we see. <laughs> they do finally uh, deduce that they are grouping up for this dragon. And uh, looks like they might want to make this the last fight. Oh, <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> Ryan standing right on a ward. He's going to get stunned. He's going to get stunned again. Instantly killed. Mickey Rack takes him down. Oh, S'more is not going to be able to do much against Lidl now. And Lidl can just end the game. Nobody's in the base to defend. A robot coming back. He's going to get stunned. And uh, Mickey just going to kind of walk it down. Robot getting stunned up is going to get out of this one. Mickey Rack is knocked up. Charm lands from Robot. Ult gets blocked, and he's still alive somehow. Eagle's hanging on for dear life, but it feels like it's only a matter of time. As yeah, Super Minion is pouring into the base. Wayne going to go in on this. Oh, no, he's not, actually. And Mara's starting up the Baron now. This should be an easy take. Two inhibitors down, and the Eagle's base is going to make it very difficult to push out these waves. And uh, the hope for an incredible comeback is slowly slipping away from post. Wing not in a good spot. Flashes over the wall and is actually going to be able to get out. Ryan missing his W in that combo, though, and only going to get Olympus to about 50%. Good flash away from Ryan. Incoming Mickey Rack as well. Wang, nice. Ult's going to keep him alive for now, but he's getting very low. Exhaust goes out. Face Miss is going to pick up that one. And, uh,. Ryan, forced to run for the hills, is going to get stunned up and killed by Mickey. And uh, that's going to do it. Maris just smacking the Eagles over their head with their giant bag of gold. Uh, 16,000 gold lead at the end of the game there. And Maris will take it 2 0. She says goes, no, like, this is how she said it. No. And they will improve to uh, 1 and 2 on the season. Eagles will fall to 0 and 3, and will face another 0 and 3 team next week. So, uh, better chance at a win next week. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. We're at the bottom of B division here. So, uh, it's going to be a tough one. Um, no, let me switch to the CS numbers. Stop. Good CS from uh, from Chrome, so on the Kaisa there. Nine a minute. Love that. Highest CS per minute in the game. Highest overall CS in the game. But, uh, yeah, saw some good things, honestly, this game. Um, they've got a lot to talk about, a lot to work on, of course. But uh, followed the early game plan, got ahead in the first five minutes, and then uh, things just kind of went downhill from there, but... The uh, initial plan was good, having Roy kind of jungle down um, and get a gank on the bot lane early. They were definitely not expecting that.
and that was huge for getting us started. Um, but then everything just kind of went downhill. But GG's to Marist. We'll be back next week. Um, that's going to do it for our streams this week. Uh, had a ton of matches this week. Thank you for all your support, everyone. Um, we are going to be back on Monday and Tuesday with Smash and Valorant. Uh, Tuesday is also our 2K, NBA 2K games. We may also have a FIFA game, a FIFA stream on Monday. Wednesday, we'll be back with more Overwatch, Rocket League, and League of Legends. Thursday is Madden Night. And then Friday, we'll have more Rocket League and League of Legends. So have a great weekend, everyone. Until then, we'll see you on Monday.